Touche. This one for Faulkner to chase, he's free of the Rangers' defence. And down goes Willie Faulkner, that is, looks to be very clear. Let's see it from behind the goal. Faulkner got in behind the square Rangers' defence. Good play going beyond the keeper, and that appeared to me to be a clear penalty. Can they test Jim Bett? And here's Bett against Walker. Brilliantly finished by Jim. Here's McCoyst again. Tackled hard by Miller at the edge of the box, and the free kick's been given. Miller is incensed by the decision. Ali McCoyst took a very hard knock on the calves. It's a brilliant turn this from McCoyst. Well, let's see how Miller handled this. There he goes, going through the player once again from the back, and that, for my money, was certainly a free kick. Well, uh... Roberts is dictating things. That's brilliantly stopped by David Cooper. 21 minutes gone, Rangers have equalised. And a stunning free kick from Davy Cooper. Well, they don't come any better than this. Thundering the ball past the wall. Leighton had no chances that thundered into the river net. Well, I think I called it right, John, didn't I? That he, that's about his first kick of the match. But what a kick it was. As Walter Smith expresses some anxiety once again. Jimmy Nichols' header, there's Fleck, Durant's header to McCoyst, there's Durant, a great chance for Rangers, and that was magnificent. Walter Smith relishes the moment, and well, he might. That was a superb goal from Ian Durant. Leighton was left badly exposed, and there was the strength of Durant. The layoff came initially from Fleck. Header followed by Durant, he then supported McCoy's, took that neat flick, sprinted through the gap, and left Leighton with no chance at all. Leighton already on the field despite not getting permission from the referee. The Rangers players clearly were unhappy about Willie Faulkner, but it's the referee who is now going to have a word with Phil Borsma for entering the field without his head. Like the circle. And the incident which upset Durant and the Rangers players comes up here. And there's no question, Willie Faulkner goes in late with his boot up. And really, I think he's a lucky player not to incur the wrath of referee well, a fixture. And I wonder now if the referee is going to have a drop ball, because if so, it's going to be inside the Rangers box. Now, that really would be very harsh on Rangers in these particular circumstances if Aberdeen cashed in. But the referee, I think, left with a difficult task after he allowed play to run. And Rowe gets it away. And the referee, I'm sure, will blow for half time now rather than risk another attack. Yes. Think today has been first class. And a delightful piece of play by Cooper once again. Here's Durant. Fleck and McCoy stood up front. There's Fleck back to Durant. Didn't make contact with the ball, but held up the progress of Miller. Far post cross. Walker caught in two minds. He's a great chance for Hewitt. Yes! Durant again as a player making a run into space. Giving the closer tour of time in the second half. Still Durant going forward inside, looking for a penalty kick, but the referee waves aside. Strong appeals from the Rangers. Willie Miller involved. He turned inside him. And that actually looked like a penalty kick. Away from Cooper. Joe Miller back to bet. Towards Faulkner! <laughs> Willie Faulkner's header and Aberdeen are ahead. Came back, it was Miller again who set up for Bet. And look at that header from Willie Faulkner. Just no more songs in there, but they're singing now. There's Francis, now Davy Cooper. Great play from Cooper, a super chance for Rangers. And it's clear in the end the by Miller. No one up for Aberdeen, the whole back defending as Nickel returns it. Roberts with the header, there's Ian Durant and Fleck. Francis at the corner flag. A high loop 
Same cross up goes McKimmy. Here's John McGregor. Well, he had to take that on his right foot. Peter Weir with a layoff. Hewitt trying to ease it towards Bet, but Roberts was more positive. Here's Durant. Jim Bet going all the way through. Here's McCoist. A rare miss from Ali McCoist with a goal beckoning. But another magnificent move from Rangers, inspired by Durant's running power. Bet couldn't get to him. He threaded that pass through the gap. McCoist sprinting clear and steering the shot wide. Fleck, Durant's made the run again, he's in space, still Fleck. And Jim... And the cone, there's Robert Fleck, he's at full stretch, Jim Leighton. What's going on among the players? Walter Smith and Phil Borsma out there for Rangers, Jimmy Mullen and Ian Porterfield for Aberdeen. And the linesman taking a note of the kickers. This penalty kick will be taken by Rangers and by Ali McCoist. So McCoy is the regular Rangers penalty taker. He's scored three out of three so far this season. And all the players having to remain in the centre circle as McCoy prepares to take the vital opening kick against Jim Layton. Well, McCoy continues his excellent penalty kick form, gives Rangers the lead. Crucial, of course for the first one to go in for the side taking it behind that goal. Jim Bet taking a long run up. And he picked a different corner this time. So another expert in the penalty spot. Remember the one he scored for Scotland against Wales in Cardiff to get Scotland on course for the World Cup. Here he goes again. Absolutely deadly. Apologies the Rangers fans. He could put them on either side this time. He sends Leighton the wrong way. And there's the scoreline by Peter Nicholas. Experienced player showing the way for Aberdeen at the moment. Peter Nicholas scored three times this season for Aberdeen. And another crucial moment for him. And a disaster for Aberdeen and for Peter Nicholas in particular. The shot clipping the top of the bar and going over. And here's the penalty kick, which may well give the cup to Rangers. Skinning off the top of the bar, Nicholas dejected as he walks back to join his team. Fleck again, who has scored from the penalty spot for Rangers before. Comfortably scooped into the net. And it's all going Rangers' way at the moment. Beautifully taken once more with Leighton going to his right. The ball is stopped in. That's well taken by Weir. Well, is he going to replace the ball in the spot? Well, this can't do his nerves any good at all, even with his experience. A very short run up from Francis. But thoroughly effective, and Leighton is frustrated. He guessed right that time. He just wasn't quick enough to get across to his right. Now, if the next penalty kick is missed by Aberdeen, Rangers will have won the score league. Well, not struck with too much conviction, but it was good enough to find the net. So, a bit of prayer, I think, for Joe Miller as... Leighton prepares to face Ian Durant. Now, it certainly would be fitting if Durant took the final kick to win the cup for Rangers. If Durant scores, Rangers are the winners. There will be no need for any other kick. Perfectly taken by Durant. Rangers have won the Skull League Cup after a match packed full of drama. Here's the penalty kick which won it in the end for Rangers. Leighton again was helpless. A perfect scoring record for Rangers. Five penalties out of five. The fifth from Aberdeen doesn't matter at all. And the celebrations now begin in front of the Rangers fans. The ejection, of course, for Aberdeen, who... What about the match itself? Both sides could have won it at different times. I had a couple of chances in the second period of extra time. I wish I stuck them away. But it wasn't to be. We're happy with the result, and I'm going up for my medal. Well played. Thanks very much.